Alright, today I'm going to work on his feet and uh, this hand and arm. The only way I'm going to be able to do that is by taking him off of this piece. So I'm going to set him aside while I move this out of the way. Alright, I'm going to work on his feet and uh, get as far along as I can before I have to leave. I'm going to cut this uh, legging off just a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. And let's see, where's my exacto knife? There it is. I'm just going to cut it off there and there. And I'll lay that now point up where the uh, top part is. Yeah. Okay. Cheyenne moccasins had a particular shape to them. They had kind of a pointed toe. You look at old old photographs of uh, the uh, Cheyenne and the differing tribes. You can see that each tribe had their own particular shape. It's how people could track them. You know, the enemy. They could tell exactly who the enemy was by the shape of their moccasin. There's a book called Mystic Warriors of the Plains by Norman Males, M.A. I-L-S, I think. And uh, it's a great book on the uh, Plains Indians and uh, it talks about the shapes of their moccasins and even shows examples of them. Now the key is to get this moccasin the same size. Actually, that moccasin looks a little big. I don't know. I think I'll cut it back about a quarter of an inch. This wire tool I'm using is called Ecliptic wire tool and it's from uh, SculptureDepot.net. The bottom of the moccasin would have a rawhide. Go ahead and put this back on.
he's going to be holding a, a rein in his hand. That's what this is, is the rope from that rein. And I'm going to take that rope off now. Because it's in the way. carve away right here If you ever look at your knuckles, they go up that way and then down that way. And uh, in so many words, that's what I'm trying to do. This is where these uh, rubber tip tools from uh, SculptureDepot.net come in handy too. You can get in here, they're real strong rubber tip tools that are really handy for this type of work here. These are called clay shaper and uh, you can get a whole set of them and that's just a great set of tools to have. I've got the silicone tip tools as well which are good as well but uh, for initially what I'm doing here, I'm going to use this tool just to separate the finger. When I'll finish up this hand, and I'll work on this hand. Yeah. Dig into that clay just a little bit more. There we go. And then this little tool here, shape it just a little bit. There we go. Sure, I'm not getting too long in my arm here. Now, it should be just to the wrist, about one head length. And I always extend it a little bit more, and then about a half a head length to the uh, end of the knuckles. Well, it's getting there. I'll have to finish this off tomorrow. I gotta get home and fulfill some other orders for my DVD. I've been doing that a lot lately. So I can send them out tomorrow. Got to order earlier 
earlier today that I sent out. That went to New Zealand. That's the first one I've sent to New Zealand. 